Hello and welcome to this video. So we are live now and if you have any questions let me know. I will keep checking it. So first of all let's go in and create a new project. So we're gonna call this advanced authentication and then let's run Laravel Neo. So while this is running, I will just go in and check if there's anyone having any questions. So, first of all, while this is running, um, we are going to set up SQLite. Because that's what I always use, because I think that's easier than just when you're just using Lava than setting up something with AppChair or something like that. So, first of all, we need to go in to our environment file when it's created and then we can go into the database folder and already now create the database that is light. So while we're waiting for the, the DNV file to create, let me know if you have any questions. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to create an authentication system where we have the ability to be an administrator and or a moderator. And beside that, we will use AX to validate the user input in the registration and login system. So, first of all, inside our resources, we should also have an admin folder and we should also have um, the ability to go in there and see the admin dashboard so what we're going to do in here is we're going to have our admin system and um, where you can see all the users and also going to be able to delete the user and or uh, made them a moderator or administrator if that's the case. Hopefully we should be able to do all of this in one live stream. We might have to do it in two live streams, but if that's the case, I will be back next week. And I suppose this will be a longer live stream. So we're talking about, I suppose an hour's time, maybe one and a half, and then we will be done for today. So now that the environment file should be created in here, oh it's not. Okay. Um, so what we can do in the meantime is we can go in and we can go in and say something like npm install or npm i which is stand for install. And then we can go into the environment file, remove all of these. All right, so we need, we need the database, yeah. And then we need the connection, which is gonna be SQLite free. And then we're gonna call this database light so now that this is set up we can run inside our migration file and create the user system so inside here we have database migrations and inside migrations we are gonna have a use of tables Inside here, we want to add in two booleans. Code the one of them is admin, and the other one we will say is a boolean of is mod for is moderator. So now that this is set up. What we want to do now is we want to run 
the migration file. And after that, we want to serve it. Okay, so we need to remove the SQLite for it to just SQLite. So the issue here is the database that SQLite does not exist. So we have to file here, but let's see what it says inside the configuration file. database that in me ah that's why we just remove this one because otherwise it's gonna get confused because as you can see inside the configuration file here it already has the file name is not pre you cannot predefine it unless you want to do it yourself by just saying env and database url for example a database um, path would be a better name for this. You can go in and just do this here, and then you should be able to. But that's um, again not really necessary unless you want to, for some reason, have more than one database. So now that we have this set up, let's run it and see what we have to work with. Checking if there's any questions. All right, so let's go into the server now. And also, we should also one PHP Anderson make alf. Okay, so this is an error that happens sometimes with the case and key is not set. Sometimes it will be under the installation, it will say something around it. Other times there will actually be um, the necessary thing by running the command again, which I don't remember off my head. So let's just Google this. So this one, let's first of all close this down because this PHP Addison key generate the reason why we close this down is because otherwise it would give an error. Um, still, we need to close down this so we can reload the environment file. So while this is waiting, let's see if this will fix the problem. Sorry, I will just restart the live stream to improve the quality of the video to HD.
so I don't know if you can see me back but I'm waiting for this to load to just see if it's gonna be online otherwise if you are able to see me now the application key has actually been set so we can run this again I think it should be back on running. Anyways, we can see this now. So hopefully you should all get this with you. Now we can go inside. And load this file here. Um, so PHP storm just crashed. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm just gonna fix this issue. My computer is running on maximum RAM right now, which is quite impressive. Actually, I'm running on um, it was called. I actually have PHP some and all of that. That's actually like, if you can see here, I'm using 16 gigabyte of RAM, and that's how much RAM I actually use when I record a video. So. That's why it's gonna be like that. I'm just gonna go into PHP Storm now and then in here we will be able to run it from 8000 now. Really sorry about the issues with the PHP Storm and all of that. But again, that's the issue. I can just go in and close some of these windows here. And I know this is a really bad live stream. Okay. So while this is running, um, <coughs> the next week I will put in a new um, course on YouTube um, and I will also finish up the Lavo blog course so that should be fixed by then uh, and then we will also be able to see all of it so while this is loading and again I'm really sorry about all the technical problems just 